When to file ISF for baby gates. Welcome to our channel. Today, we want to tackle an essential aspect of international trade that directly affects importers, particularly in the context of specific products like baby gates. Understanding the customs brokerage process, including the timing for filing importer security filings, ISF, is crucial for ensuring compliance and avoiding costly delays. Let's begin with the basics. An importer security filing, or ISF, is a required document that must be filed with U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all ocean shipments destined for the United States. The ISF must be filed at least 24 hours prior to the cargo being loaded onto a vessel. This regulation was put in place to enhance maritime security and facilitate the efficient processing of goods. Now, you may wonder why we are focusing on baby gates specifically. Baby gates, like many other consumer products, require diligent adherence to customs regulations. Any oversight in the ISF process can result in fines, delays, and even cargo being held at the port. Therefore, knowing when to file the ISF for baby gates is crucial, especially for importers aiming to bring these important safety products into the U.S. market efficiently. The ISF must be filed no later than 24 hours before the cargo departs for the United States. For baby gates being shipped from overseas, this means that as soon as you have a confirmed shipment, you should prepare your ISF. Even though this seems straightforward, the details included in the filing are where many importers face challenges. During the ISF filing process, importers must provide specific information, including but not limited to, the consignee's name and address, the manufacturer and supplier data, the country of origin, and the harmonized tariff schedule code for the goods. Each of these elements plays a role in ensuring that the goods can be cleared effectively upon entry. Non-compliance with the ISF requirements can have serious implications. Customs authorities have the right to impose penalties, which can escalate based on the nature of the infraction. Understanding and implementing proper customs brokerage practices can help you navigate these regulations and avoid costly fines. Engaging a knowledgeable customs broker can be a vital step for importers of baby gates. These professionals understand the intricacies of customs regulations and can provide critical support in filing the ISF accurately and on time. They can assist in determining the necessary tariff classifications and ensuring all required documentation is in place. In the realm of international trade, it's also essential to stay informed about any changes in regulations that may affect ISF submissions or customs processes. For example, certain trade agreements may alter the duties, tariffs, or filing requirements for specific products, including baby gates. Therefore, continual education and awareness are fundamental for successful importing practices. As we discuss the ISF, let's not overlook the significance of other related documents, such as the customs bond. A customs bond acts as a guarantee that all duties, taxes, and fees will be paid to the appropriate authorities. Importers of baby gates must have an adequate customs bond in place before their shipment arrives, as it serves as a safeguard for CBP. It is essential to understand that obtaining a customs bond is not a complex process, but it does require detailed information regarding the nature of the shipment, the value of the goods, and the customs broker handling the transaction. Proper documentation and compliance are necessary for expediting clearance and avoiding delays at the port. Moreover, safety would be our top priority when importing baby gates. Import regulations concerning consumer safety must be embraced by importers. All products imported into the U.S. must meet specific safety standards, including ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials, requirements for children's products. Understanding these standards can significantly impact the importer's ability to market their product. To illustrate the significance of adhering to safety standards, consider this. Non-compliance can result in recalls, penalties, and damage to a brand's reputation. For baby gates, this means ensuring that the products are not only compliant with U.S. safety regulations but that they undergo rigorous testing before being shipped internationally. Moreover, let's emphasize that compliance goes beyond ISF and customs bonds. Importer security filing is just one piece of the importing puzzle. 
Successful importers of baby gates will also consider the entire supply chain, focusing on quality control, logistical planning, and fulfilling all customs and safety regulations. In the current global trade environment, the role of technology in customs brokerage cannot be understated. Advanced tools and software provide importers with the ability to track shipments, manage ISF filings, and maintain compliance with ever-evolving regulations seamlessly. It offers real-time updates and data analytics a euro, assets that are invaluable for modern importers. As we approach the conclusion of this video, take note that the journey of importing baby gates is multifaceted. The timeline and requirements for filing an importer security filing are pivotal, but they must also be coupled with thorough understanding and compliance with safety standards, customs bonds, and quality assurances. In summary, the process of importing baby gates not only revolves around the ISF, but it entails a comprehensive approach towards customs brokerage. To navigate through this complex landscape successfully, importers should engage with experienced professionals, utilize advanced technology, and maintain a deep understanding of regulatory requirements affecting their business. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you gained valuable insights into the ISF process and customs brokerage for baby gates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we delve deeper into international trade practices and other customs processes. Your engagement keeps us motivated, and we're here to support your journey in the world of customs and importation. Thank you for your time. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more educational content in our future videos. Disclaimer note below, happy importing and see you next time.